Okay, this is Hitchman Screws uh, networking closet. Uh, what we did is we installed a uh, Cisco two port ATA. Uh, we made this an extension 188. Uh, their ethernet connects to their main switch, which is down here. Uh, then their output of their phone line comes over into, um, we had used a uh, um, surface mount jack, so that way we didn't we didn't have to split off from one, one of these wires. It's really thin cable, and um, you just use your green and your red wire, which is your center two leads in this wire, uh, which is for your ring and your tip. And then I basically use this junction box that comes back over uh, into uh, your ring and your tip for your station trunk. You can see the T and the R. Um, let me take a picture of this here real quick. And then your page out, um, we ran this into the uh, um, Bogan unit here. And what that does is that makes it, uh, for your impedance level, it makes it sound correct. Um, and then your audio out from this Bogan device into this audio cable here. Um, and you buy these um, and they already have the audio cable built in. Um, so your Bogan is self-contained unit. Uh, what happens if you dial 188, it rings one time and then it announces to the, you know, so you can hear a beep and you can adjust all of those settings right here. Zoom in here and you can see those settings there. There we go. And you can adjust all of your, if you wanted music to play, um, you can also have music playing. And you would just input those into the red and the yellow or white audio input. And what would happen is music can play outside on those PA speakers all the time. And once a page comes through, it'll stop that music and then it will alert you to the, um, uh, the caller, the, the page. And then as soon as the page is complete, it will turn the music back on. So that is option to do that. Uh, you need to make sure that these Bogans have a 24 volt DC uh, power supply. And that is really all there is to it. So we have basically taken away all of this old phone system. Man, that is so blurry. All right, and then, so all of this has been taken apart and we could actually take it all off the wall if we wanted to because it's not not needed anymore. So the only thing that's left is this surface mount jack that comes over to here. Um, and that is all there is to it. Take a picture. So for some reason the paging never quits. You just need to reboot the Cisco ATA um, and uh, verify that the power is on with the amplifier, and that's really all the troubleshooting there is. It looks like a massive nest of wires, but in reality, it's not.